Hey, I'm so glad to see you. We're continuing our journey through the 66 books of the Bible. We are to the book of Hosea. It is really one of the more peculiar books of the Bible. It's in the Old Testament, in the time of the prophets. Now, before I explain what Hosea is about, because you're going to think it's a little weird, let me just explain that this was a time when God was working. The primary way he spoke to his people was through his prophets. And sometimes it was very dramatic. It was almost like um, experiential art that you see in some museums where like the artist goes out and they're part of the piece of art. Because keep in mind, there were no screens, there were no printing presses. And so the prophet would be known by the people in the major city and they would watch what the prophet was doing and then the prophet would declare, these are the words from the Lord. It's a different era than the era we live in now. Uh, Hosea is best summarized this way in the Life Application Study Bible. It's a great summary. Hosea was commanded by God to marry a woman who would be unfaithful to him sexually and emotionally and who would cause him many heartaches. Just as Gomer, that was his wife's name, lost interest in Hosea and ran after other lovers, we too can easily lose appreciation for our special relationship with God, and we can go pursue dreams and goals that do not include God. When we compromise our Christian distinctives and instead live in the ways of the world, we are being unfaithful. So God essentially calls Hosea to be a living illustration. And in the process, Hosea is going to experience the heartbreak that God has when we run away from him in our lives. Here's the thematic verse from Hosea. It's from chapter three, verse one, and it says this. Then the Lord said to me, Go and love your wife again, even though she commits adultery with another lover. This will illustrate that the Lord still loves Israel, even though the people have turned to other gods and love to worship them. And so this whole thing was a metaphor, a picture, an illustration, a visual of the people of God having turned away from him and God saying, I will forgive you, I will still love you, please return to me. That's his heart for us. Let's make sure we're turned to him today. I'll see you tomorrow.